A multiplayer video game is a video game in which more than one person can play in the same game environment at the same time, either locally or over the internet. During its early history, video games were often single-player only activities, putting the player against pre-programmed challenges or AI-controlled opponents, which lack the flexibility of human thought. Multiplayer games allow players interaction with other individuals in partnership, competition or rivalry, providing them with social communication absent from single-player games. In multiplayer games, players may compete against one or more human contestants, work cooperatively with a human partner to achieve a common goal, supervise other players' activity, co-op. Multiplayer games typically require players to share the resources of a single game system or use networking technology to play together over a greater distance. History Non-networked Some of the earliest video games were two-player games, including early sports games such as 1958's Tennis for Two and 1972's Pong, early shooter games such as Space War 1962, and early racing video games such as Astro Race 1973. The first examples of multiplayer real-time games were developed on the Play-Doh system about 1973. Multi-user games developed on this system included 1973's Empire and 1974's Spaceme, the latter was an early first-person shooter. Other early video games included turn-based multiplayer modes, popular in tabletop arcade machines. In such games, play is alternated at some point, often after the loss of a life. All players' scores are often displayed on-screen so players can see their relative standing. Gauntlet 1985 and Quartet 1986 introduced cooperative four-player gaming to the arcades. The games had broader consoles to allow for four sets of controls. <laughs> <laughs> Networked The first large-scale serial sessions using a single computer were Star based on Star Trek, Ocean a battle using ships, submarines and helicopters, with players divided between two combating cities and 1975's Cave based on Dungeons and Dragons, created by Christopher Caldwell with artwork and suggestions by Roger Long and assembly coding by Robert Kenny on the University of New Hampshire's DECSYSTEM 1090. The university's computer system had hundreds of terminals, connected via serial lines through cluster PDP-11s for student, teacher and staff access. The games had a program running on each terminal for each player, sharing a segment of shared memory known as the high segment in the OS Tops 10. The games became popular, and the university often banned them because of their RAM use. Star was based on 1974's single-user, turn-oriented basic program Star, written by Michael O'Shaughnessy at UNH. Ken Wasserman and Tim Stryker in a 1980-byte article identified three factors which make networked computer games appealing. Multiple humans competing with each other instead of a computer. Incomplete information resulting in suspense and risk-taking. Real-time play requiring quick reaction Wasserman and Stryker described how to network two Commodore PET computers with a cable, which included a type-in, two-player hangman and described the author's more sophisticated flash attack. Digital Equipment Corporation distributed another multi-user version of Star Trek, Decor, without real-time screen updating, it was widely distributed to universities with Dexystem 10s. In 1981 Cliff Zimmerman wrote an homage to Star Trek in Macro 10 for Dexystem 10s and Minus 20s using VT100 series graphics. VT Trek pitted four Federation players against four Klingons in a three-dimensional universe. Flight Simulator 2, released in 1986 for the Atari Street and Commodore Amiga, allowed two players to connect via modem or serial cable and fly together in a shared environment. Midi Maze, an early first-person shooter released in 1987 for the Atari Street, featured network multiplay through a MIDI interface before Ethernet and Internet play became common. It is considered the first multiplayer 3D shooter on a mainstream system, and the first network multiplayer action game with support for up to 16 players. 
There followed ports to a number of platforms including Game Boy and Super NES in 1991 under the title Faceball 2000, making it one of the first handheld, multi-platform first-person shooters and an early console example of the genre. Networked multiplayer gaming modes are known as Netplay. The first popular video game title with a LAN version, 1991's Spectre for the Apple Macintosh, featured AppleTalk support for up to eight players. Spectre's popularity was partially attributed to the display of a player's name above their cybertank. There followed 1993's Doom, whose first network version allowed four simultaneous players. Networked multiplayer LAN games eliminate common internet problems such as lag and anonymity, and are the focus of LAN parties. Play by email multiplayer games use email to communicate between computers. Other turn-based variations not requiring players to be online simultaneously are play by post gaming and play by internet. Some online games are massively multiplayer, with a large number of players participating simultaneously. Two massively multiplayer genres are MMORPG such as World of Warcraft or EverQuest and MMORTS. Some networked multiplayer games, including MUDs and massively multiplayer online games such as RuneScape, omit a single-player mode. First-person shooters have become popular multiplayer games, Battlefield 1942 and Counter-Strike have little no single-player gameplay. Developer and gaming site OMGPOP's library includes multiplayer flash games for the casual player. The world's largest MMOG is South Korea's Lineage, with 19 million registered players primarily in Asia. The largest Western MMOG in 2008 was World of Warcraft, with over 10 million registered players worldwide. This category of games requires multiple machines to connect via the Internet. Before the Internet became popular, MUDs were played on time-sharing computer systems and games like Doom were played on a LAN. Gamers refer to latency using the term ping. After a utility which measures round-trip network communication delays by the use of ICMP packets. A player on a DSL connection with a 50 ms ping can react faster than a modem user with a 350 ms average latency. Other problems include packet loss and choke, which can prevent a player from registering their actions with a server. In first-person shooters, this problem appears when bullets hit the enemy without damage. The player's connection is not the only factor, some servers are slower than others. Beginning with the Sega Netlink in 1996, Game.com in 1997 and Dreamcast in 2000, game consoles support network gaming over LANs and the Internet. Many mobile phones and handheld consoles also offer wireless gaming with Bluetooth or similar technology. By the early 2010s online gaming had become a mainstay of console platforms such as Xbox and PlayStation. Single system In modern console, arcade and personal computer games, multiplayer implies play with several controllers plugged into one game system. Home console games often use split screen, so each player has an individual view of the action important in first-person shooters and in racing video games, most arcade games, and some console games since Pong, do not. Nearly all multiplayer modes on beat-em-up games have a single system option, but racing games have started to abandon split-screen in favor of a multiple system, multiplayer mode. Turn-based games such as chess also lend themselves to single system single screen and even to a single controller. The term, local co-op, refers to local multiplayer games played in a cooperative manner on the same system, these may use split-screen or some other display method. Hotseat games are typically turn-based games with only one controller or input set, such as a single keyboard, mouse on the system. Players rotate using the input device to perform their turn such that each is taking a turn on the hotseat. <laughs> Online cheating Online cheating, in gaming, modifies the game experience to give one player an advantage over others. This is also known as hacking or glitching. Cheating in video games is a third-party program helping the player get an advantage by the use of wall hacks, aim bot, or by the codes of the game been switched around. Topic. Asymmetrical gameplay 
An asymmetric video game is a type of multiplayer video game in which players may play on in an unbalanced way. In soft asymmetry games the players have the same basic mechanics such as movement and death, yet all have different roles. In strong asymmetry games typically have one team that are practically the same or in soft asymmetric roles while the other team features players that play in a drastically different way. Asynchronous multiplayer Asynchronous multiplayer is a form of multiplayer gameplay where players do not have to be playing at the same time. See also Online game Massively multiplayer online role-playing game Game server LAN Gaming Center Matchmaking Video Games Spawn Installation <laughs>